stuck the Great Western Engine, puffed sadly into Edward Station. Duck was upset still. Diesel's been telling lies about Gordon and Henry, and made Sir Topham Hatt's engines think I'm horrid. But Edward smiled. I know you aren't, and so is Sir Topham Hatt. What if you pull these freight cars for me? So, Edward puffed away. Soon, Duck was coupled to the freight cars. And Duck puffed slowly and carefully away. Duck was impressed. He didn't mind the heavy train at all. Duck was humming a little tune. Soon, Duck was going over a hill and found the train heavier and the troublesome trucks were playing a trick. Let's push him! Let's push him! said the cars. And let's get back at Duck for telling stories! Suddenly, Duck was speeding out of control and the freight cars pushed him on and on. On, on, faster, faster, said the cars. I can't stop, I can't stop, yelled Duck. Duck went past the station where James was taking on passengers. Slow down, said James. I can't, cried Duck. The cars are still pushing me. On, 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 said the freight cars. As fast as we can, you can't catch us, we're the gingerbread train! Good grief, said Duck's driver, what is this? Gordon, the big engine, was puffing slowly on the express train. Any minute, there could be a crash. Now is your chance, Duck, said the driver. But Duck was sent into the siding. I can't stop, he groaned. He was diverted into the siding, and the engine shed was just ahead. Duck's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. No one was hurt. But Duck was a silly engine. The first two of Duck's freight cars were all to pieces, and the tar in the tanker was splattered everywhere, and one of the freight cars was laughing. I'm sorry, sir, said Duck from under the shed. It's really my fault. No, it wasn't, said the driver. Thomas will be here with the breakdown train any minute now. Soon, Thomas took the ruined freight cars away. Duck was going so fast, sir, said Duck's driver. I tried to stop him, but his brakes wouldn't work. I understand, said Sir Topham Hat. Never mind, Duck. We're gonna get you out of here. Thank you, sir, said Duck. So Thomas decided to pull Duck from out of the shed. And Sir Topham Hatt had more news for Duck. And when you are fully repaired, you will come home. Home, sir, said Duck. Did you beat the yard? Of course, said Sir Topham Hatt. I shall tell City of Turo about your adventure the next time he comes to Sodor. The engines are sorry, and they want you back again. Duck was delighted. Thank you, sir, said Duck. I can't wait for the welcome party. Let's go home, Duck, said Thomas. And off they went. When Gordon heard about the accident, he was impressed. Silly duck, he said. He would go as fast as me. 
So Duck puffed proudly on the turntable, feeling very pleased of himself. And at Tidbit's shed, there was a really drowsing welcome for Duck, the Great Western Engine. <laughs>